Hi everyone, welcome to the Pace Studio in New York City. We are here with Liz Wright, who is joined by uh, pianist Kenny Banks. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. It's our pleasure, thanks for having us. Yeah, tell us about the first song you're gonna play. We are first going to play a song that I wrote with Maya Sharp uh, called All The Way Here. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, I don't know, it's very difficult to describe, but it's a really beautiful song. The chorus says, uh, I took a cold call from deep inside, a voice sweet and sanctified in my bones, a revelation that love was mine to fight or to follow all the way here. So it's, I don't know how to describe that without just quoting it. <laughs> it that's beautiful, <laughs> as is. So uh, why don't you guys uh, dive right in? Okay.
<laughs> Beautiful, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, so, so that song is actually um, the only song that uh, you had a part in writing um, yeah. on your uh, forthcoming record, Grace, out this Friday. Everyone mm-hmm. should pick it up. Um, the rest of the nine songs were covers that you um, you found and, and worked with Joe Henry um, to mm-hmm. select. So I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about how you two linked up and what that process was like going through all of those songs and then making them your own. Well, I've known Joe Henry uh, for about 13 years now. And um, I met him, well, I became aware of him through Craig Street. We made uh, Dreaming Wide Awake. And I covered his song, uh, Don't Tell Me to Stop. And uh, I, I just kept hearing about this really interesting man, you know, who was always wearing these beautiful sports coats and kind of uh, dressed to the nines and always has his most poetic and like very thought out things to say. And I finally met him. And I remember the day Joe and I met, I think we talked for hours. And I, I, uh, I kind of watched the time change that day. And we had a couple of long sits like that. And uh, we've been friends a, a while now. And uh, we kept thinking that we'd have this opportunity, and so it was really nice it finally came. And it feels like uh, it feels like we found a way to kind of document our conversations, you know, and our our dialogue. So it's really interesting to have two writers um, not write on a project, you know, or or mostly not write on a project. But it actually was very interesting um, to be curating uh, songs at the service of a message that we composed together. You know, we were we were pretty intentional uh, this time about, you know, what we wanted to say and um, the, the type of elements we wanted to put together. So I remember sending Joe some emails that I would be embarrassed to send to anyone else because they were this, this <laughs> like, wild list of phrases and notions um, that you just send to someone who loves you and pretends to understand even if they don't. But I think he actually did. And then we had this beautiful task of, you know, curating to, to serve an idea. So the composition this time was in the statement. And uh, that was actually really fun. Amazing. Okay. Well, tell us about the next song that you're going to play today. The next song is, uh, was made famous by his sister, uh, Rosetta Tharp. This is uh, Singing in My Soul. And uh, I just felt like since I was doing a, a record that I agreed to, uh, where I agreed to adhere to the the theme or whatever, the concept with label. You know, you have to kind of have grown-up talks with those folks. Um, I thought, well, I want to do something that uh, brings to light this kind of um, idea of, of singing your way into uh, a feeling or into an ability or into some kind of awakening. And so I felt like, you know, this is a nice way for me to remember that, you know, the, the environment on the inside is not subject to whatever is going on around me, you know, so... We sing to remember, or we sing to make ourselves at home. So this is singing in my soul. (laughs) Should I grab my tambourine? (laughs) I'm so glad somehow I got salvation now, and it keeps the spirit moving. In my soul Every day I find It's peace and joy in mine And it keeps me Keeps me singing in my soul I'm singing Yes, I'm singing in my soul Singing, oh, I'm singing in my. 
The best thing is just watching you guys like crack up after each song. <laughs> I love it. Over doing. <laughs> fun. Um, also, I love her, and that just made my day. So, thank um. you, you guys. Um, Sister Rosetta Tharp was such a great guitarist too, oh, and so to hear yeah. that song like translated to just like keys and vocals was super cool. I don't know how she's singing it without exploding. I'm just trying not to. Destroy this precious pretty thing. <laughs> like, Whoa. I'm sure it's withstood much, much worse. <laughs> um, so you were from rural Georgia, mm-hmm. like the South. Yeah. Um, first of all, where are you based these days? I am based uh, in uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Oh, okay. And I do like a back and forth dash between there and Chicago. Okay. Um, yeah, I got involved in the art school and really amazing children in Chicago. So I dashed between there and the mountains. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I read that you took like a big old road, tri- road trip, uh, through the South to kind of like reconnect yeah. with that area. Um, where, where did you go for how long? What, what did that mean to you? I, um, I just mapped out a trip to, to go home, but to, to kind of encircle my whole life by, you know, coming down from the mountains of like Appalachia to like, you know, where I grew up, uh, where my father grew up, which actually I had never been there. Really? Yeah. I, my father grew up in Ray City, Georgia, but I had never explored the area and I had no idea that this kind of otherworldly, um, lake was there. Um, Ray's, I think it's called Ray's Mill Pond or something like that. Um, and, uh, it's really wild because it looks like, a the sky and the sea are kind of hard to tell apart as it's very still and very bright back there. And, um, yeah, and the trees are just very naked and kind of knobbly and there's a lot of Spanish moss. And, uh, and then I also went out to the, the coast where my mother's from. Uh, she's from like the Brunswick, Georgia area and the Georgia Sea Islands. So I, I, I took this trip and then I, I looped back and, uh, obviously came through Atlanta, but the whole point of it is that I wanted to, um, to to go home and kind of take it into my skin. You know, you can think about, you know, where the South is going or where the country is going, and it becomes like a, a dark tunnel of theory that, you know, never really lets you land anywhere. And while I could sit there drowning in my mind and um, responding to ideas, I thought, let me just take myself and go. And uh, what I felt was the truth is the, the sweetness of people, um, they're very, very deep kindness and generosity. And uh, to take my friend and photographer there, my friend Jessie, um, and see how she responded to it was really incredible. So I, I'm really glad for the experience. And it was the first time I had um, gone after uh, the visuals for a record after a recording. So I was listening to rough mixes while we were living out of a Jeep. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, interesting. And staying with relatives. So it was, it was looking at my life as if it didn't belong to me. It was. It's a good idea. So it was basically just the three of you guys in a Jeep, like, rolling? 
There's two of us in a okay. tape recorder. There you go. There you go. <laughs> how, how long did you spend on the road? Um, you know, I, we, it was maybe about uh, four or five days. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it was really great to take the time to talk with people uh, whose presence I kind of taken for granted. You know, you collect the sounds and ideas of people around you. But once you really come to them like a vessel and you want something specific, it's amazing what they have to give. Totally, totally. And there's there's something so, I guess, like inherently American about like just driving. Yeah. Um, yeah, looking at the earth, looking at it change, especially driving down from the mountains and watching it all change and get flat and broad and bright. It's uh, it's good, and it was good to come back. And uh, yeah, I literally traced my life as if it didn't belong to me, and it, it, it felt really good. It was the most probably the most reassuring thing I could have done. That's so cool. <laughs> tell us about tell us about the last song you're gonna play today. The last song is uh, Bob Dylan's "Every Grain of Sand," and uh, you know he's. He was really an incredible writer, but it was really great to have like a, a a very direct encounter with his work for myself finally, uh, because I I would I didn't want to take this song on because it has so many words. <laughs> That's not about being lazy. It's about using a different uh, part of my mind that I don't always. That that's not, not not my biggest muscle when I'm performing. I, I kind of like to let go, but I have to hold on because his statements are so complete. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a challenge, but it's really beautiful, and uh, it's such a tale of mercy and abundance in the middle of like the tragedy and misery of being human. He opens those things and pulls out this like you know pieces of the eternal. It's really great. He's an amazing, he's an amazing writer, and I finally took it in for myself. And I'm nodding too. He's incredible. Excellent. Whenever you're ready. So I get all these words. <laughs> <laughs> In the hour of my deepest need When the pool of tears beneath my feet Floods every newborn seed There's a dying voice within me Reaching out somewhere so much but if I'm not in my face I can't remember right, right, right. So, they're so beautiful like it makes me want to just lean back and go and I can't and it's so hard to read in that that space too sure. I'm not professional I'm still in school <laughs> <laughs> I am actually in his honor gonna hold these things and sing it is that cool you do you do you awesome that is so unprofessional but I actually I actually love this song so I I'm not embarrassed. I have to sing all no. of them. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's great. Who am I kidding? Shoot, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't kidding me, I'm with you. In the time of my confession, in the hour of my deepest need, in the pool of tears beneath my feet 
flood every newborn seed There's a dying voice within me Reaching out somewhere Toiling in the danger And the morals of despair Normally our Thank MO you. is like, don't read the comments, like as, as journalists and writers and stuff. <laughs> and if you read the comments on this live stream, they're the most like 
positive and soulful and uplifting I've like read during any of these sessions. So oh, thank you guys so much. Absolute pleasure. Um, you're on tour or you will be a uh, show here in New York um, mm -hmm. on the 15th and um, then a few more dates coming up. All of them are online. Uh, Grace is out this Friday. Yeah. Liz, Kenny, thank you both so much for being here with us today. Come it's back anytime. Thank you so much. Thank you.